Dr. Githinji Gitahi, the Amrath Health Africa Group Chief Executive Officer, my dear friend and colleague of many years, and the Amrath Leadership Team, dear partners and colleagues. It's my great honor to accept the Africa Health Leadership on COVID-19 Award. And I thank you very much for the recognition, which is really a testament to the tireless work of the entire workforce of the World Health Organization in the African region. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected every African and every person on the planet. With determined leadership of governments and the strong support of partners, together we've stepped up to the greatest challenge in generations. Non-governmental organizations, including philanthropists and business leaders in particular, have mobilized their networks to fill critical gaps in access to supplies and services, among other areas. Building on this experience, at WHO, we will advocate for stronger partnerships across sectors to benefit all areas of health and development. The pandemic has also reaffirmed that engaged communities are at the heart of better health. Enabling individuals is vital so that they can play their roles in surveillance, in outbreak response, in immunization, and in leading healthy lives. So more needs to be done to address the social and economic determinants of health, including improving access to water and sanitation, to quality education, and communications technologies, and to employment and other opportunities. In the past year, we've seen clearly all over the world how inequities are made much worse when disaster strikes. The livelihoods of the most vulnerable people have suffered most. Poverty and food insecurity have increased, and these challenges will have long-term impacts unless collectively there is an all-of-society investment in the recovery from this pandemic and in sustainable development. We know that COVID-19 will not be the last crisis countries face, and it is my hope that this experience has made clear the importance of prioritizing preparedness against future threats by building resilience into our health systems and our societies. I look forward to our continued collaboration in these areas to save lives, to promote health, and to serve the vulnerable. So on behalf of all my colleagues at WHO, thank you very much once again for this award and for your partnership to achieve better health in Africa.